What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop. So, some subs hit me up and brought to my attention that there was a big hole left in the issues of the people dying in the Dominican Republic. Now, I didn't feel there was a hole because as I told you guys before, I'm tired of making videos about it because it wasn't a big deal. And at least down here, it's not seen as a big deal because it was nothing abnormal. But what I realized is, since I haven't been home in a couple years, the media machine in America controlled you very much. It made you believe and your people believe that Dominican Republic is the most dangerous place and people are dying left and right. So here's some breakdown to fill in the hole, fill in a gap from then to now, which started back in, I think, March. But from then to now in October, which today is October 11th, 2019, I'll fill in those holes for you. To date, today, October 11th, 2019, from January 1st, 2019, the number is still 11 Americans have died in Dominican Republic. The number is still the same for 2019. All these abnormal deaths were not abnormal. As I said, I don't make light of death, but everyone was over 45, 50 years old, some 60, 70. We even had two people that died after they left DR and they blamed Dominican Republic. So, let me give you guys a breakdown. As I said, 11. Now, the fake liquor was a theory. It was only a theory someone threw out there, and a lot of you guys and a lot of the media ran with it, but it was never proven. It was a theory on the fake liquor. So, the Minister of Tourism made a good point. He said if there's fake liquor in the resorts, and a thousand people drink, and one person dies, what happened to the other 999? And I blame, I blame kind of tourism a little bit because they didn't respond. Because down here, people were like, America's bugging. What are you guys talking about? People are dying. Nobody's dying here. There's no big deal. So they didn't respond in time because they were like, what are you guys talking about? There are not a bunch of deaths going on down here. So the reality is the fake liquor was, was not a thing. And I will say this. I mentioned before I've seen fake liquor. It is not the Chinese fake liquor. When I say I've seen fake liquor... It is, you buy Johnny Walker Black, and it's Johnny Walker Red. You buy Patron, and it's Jose Cuervo. You buy Hennessy, and it's another cognac. That's what I meant when I said I've seen fake liquor in this country. The same thing you guys do in those bars back up top, in Atlanta, in New York, mi mixing the liquor up, hoping the person's too drunk not to realize it's the lower version, and they think they're buying Hennessy, it's done here as well sometimes, in certain places. Not many Dominican places, but certain places that cater to gringos, sometimes they'll switch the bottles up and you'll pay for Johnny Walker Black and you'll be getting Johnny Walker Red. That's what I meant by fake liquor. I have not seen any of that Chinese fake liquor. I am a drinker. I go all over the place and drink. I have not run into it yet. Um, and as a, as a person made, uh, gave me a shout out last night, he basically said he's in his 20s and 30s. The people that have died are over 45, 50, 60 years old. The guys who are in their 20s and 30s or women, all the travelers in their 20s and 30s are drinking like fish, but none of them have passed away. None of them have gotten sick. So you gotta understand, I understand the media machine in America is very, very, very strong. But the reality is, the deaths are not abnormal. And since we had that little media phase and, and camp, campaign, as you saw, it was a campaign against DR, all of a sudden the deaths magically stopped. Only 11. And when I say only, like I said, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, Put the deaths that, that are not, they're not important, but these are people that were older. I don't, know, I don't know what shape they were in, what health they were in, but these things happen. But when you see, uh, I think when sons, uh, oh, well, people are dying, you need to have people of all different age groups, all different walks of life. Then, then show me they're dying. Then show me there's something abnormal about it. Okay? So the liquor was a theory. That was BS. Now, I will say this. Myself and Miko Worldwide, he, he, I shout to him. We made the video saying, you know, it might have something to do with the Chinese. That was one thing, rumor that was being spread that because DR had to deal with the Chinese, America was spreading the rumor. You can go back and look up the, you can go back and look up. So, you can go back and look up how the deal with the Chinese, that all magically this stuff happened in the States, how everybody was dying. And like I said, it was a campaign. There was also a rumor that, and I don't really follow rumors that much, 
But there was a rumor that a Mexican billionaire put out this campaign because Mexico was hurting from tourism. And at the exact time that all of these abnormal deaths, this campaign started, Dominican Republic was number one in the Caribbean in tourism. It's just weird how at the exact time the Chinese came in, at the exact time Dominican Republic was number one in all of, all of the Caribbean by far, this campaign started. So you kind of got to open your eyes. Like I said, I'm more logical. I investigate things a little bit more. So let's go back into some of the stories. As I said, me, I look at things. When the Costa Rica thing happened, if you guys remember, they said Costa Rica had a bunch of fake liquor. Two weeks later, there was a headline. Confiscation of 100,000 bottles of fake liquor in Dominican Republic. So me being me, I click on the story. The story had absolutely nothing to do with Dominican Republic. The headline said Dominican Republic. So you guys who only read headlines, oh my God, fake liquor in Dominican Republic. But the story was about Costa Rica. It had not one word in the story about Dominican Republic. But someone decided to attach the DR headline on there to help in the campaign. Also, some of the deaths, when they kept saying another death. As I told you guys in a previous video, my friend in a group posted a, posted a link, another death. I went and said, damn, another death? So I'm clicking on the link. The death was from 2015. The problem with the campaign was, it's 11 people in 2019. They brought back 2018, 2017, 2016, and unfortunately, 2015. And they added all those deaths and combined them, making it look like there was about 30-something deaths, which was a lot. There's never been more than 31 deaths in one year of Americans in the Dominican Republic. Never. And this year, with only 11 so far, and we're in October, with three months left, no, yeah, two months left, whatever it is, um, they're at a point to have the least amount of American deaths of all time. Come on, guys. It's simple, it's simple math. I mean, if you, I keep hearing, oh, people are dying, people are saying be safe. Listen, if you're safe for where you're at right now watching this video, I commend you. But the Dominican Republic is very safe and there's nothing going on down here. If you guys couldn't see that it was a campaign against DR at the time when they were at the top of the food chain in tourism in the Caribbean, I don't know what to tell you. I see things in a different view, in a different light because I don't follow the masses. I investigate for myself. Now, has tourism been affected? I believe so. I was in the resorts in La Romana. I was in the resorts in Punta Cana. They were packed, but it wasn't that many Americans. I've noticed the Sioux in Puerto Plata, less, less uh, Americans. It's starting to pick up, but during the low season, usually it's a nice crowd that comes in. It's gotten slow as far as tourism goes. I can admit that. I've seen it. Some businesses are having to close. You know, it is what it is. But uh, is it coming back? I believe it'll come back because the deaths have mysteriously stopped all of a sudden. Like I told you guys before, you can, you, can, you can chastise me, you can call me stupid, whatever you want to do, but you can't call me a liar. You can't tell me I don't bring facts to the table. All I do is bring facts after fact after fact, and like I said, I may not always be right, but I'm pretty much always right. So that's to fill in a hole for the deaths in the Dominican Republic. As I said, the number is still magically at 11 after all these months, and that big campaign that everyone's dying, 2019, still 11 people, from America have passed away unfortunately while on vacation and I really want to say it's 10 because one person died five days later so and if they died in America but they still blame Dominican Republic um, either way people say well you always campaigning for DR it's not that I'm campaigning for DR I'm campaigning for logic I'm campaigning against stupidity I'm campaigning that you take a vacation and enjoy yourself because as you've seen in the previous video there's also a campaign to keep you in America Trump may be building a wall in Mexico to keep Mexicans out, but he might be building a wall to keep you from leaving. Those are my words. I appreciate you guys. Once again, we're one year in in the Mr. Flip Flop YouTube channel. I appreciate all of y'all. Almost at 6,000 subscribers. I love you all. Appreciate you. Travel. You ain't got to just come to DR. Travel. Enjoy your life. Enjoy yourself. Stop breathing and start living.